What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Bad Cube Evil Bug Core Collector's Edition. So this is the 2021 reissue for these. Here's the box. You can see it says 2021 reissue right there in the foil writing. They are individually boxed and packaged. So the value pack is the one that comes all together with the accessories all in one box. These come separately with their own accessories. Um, but basically the exact same design with some slight changes to the coloring and the die cast content. So we might as well go over that today. I unfortunately don't have the original value pack anymore. I did sell that, so I don't have that here to compare. But I'm gonna go off of memory and images and my old review as much as I can. Hopefully I can point out all the differences. But let's do that right now. We'll start off with Claymore here. So Claymore, their version of uh, Shrapnel. Difference, you've got the translucent gold chest. They don't give you the alternate chest, so you're stuck with this one. I think the whole point here was to make a toy-styled version of this set. Uh, I don't know why they call it collector's edition, but it is more like a toy edition. Uh, coming down here, you do have the die-cast feet, so these are now die-cast instead of plastic. Not only that, they are painted in this nice purple, and that looks really good, both on the front and back. Uh, so that is a difference. Um, that's really it. Everything else is the same. Oh, and then on the back here, you do have these are now painted in a yellow, where I believe they were either black. They might have been black or purple. I think they were black. So that's painted. In addition, these are painted. So that's really it for Claymore. Moving on to Hypno. Here, he also has the translucent yellow chest with the silver paint here on the front which is different from the original. You have the die cast feet, which are painted black. So the toe and the heel are die cast. The middle is still plastic, but the toe and heel are die cast and painted. Coming to the back, pretty much no changes here. This is all the same as the original. Uh, but it does look good, and I do like the painted silver here on the chest. Then moving to the kick butt version here, um, their version of kick back. Again, you've got the translucent chest. You do have the die cast feet pieces here. They're painted purple and red. Um, this back piece is still plastic, but the front of the toe is die cast. Uh, and that's really it. Uh, I can't remember if this is painted. I think it is painted on the original, um, but this is also painted yellow. So that's really it for the changes. Uh, you do get some accessories with these, which are exactly the same as the original. So each of them come with collector's cards, so you get two styles. You get the traditional old-school masterpiece style with the tech specs there, and then you get the Bad Cube style here with the artwork and then the bio there. And each of them comes with it. Here's Hypno's cards and bio. And finally, here's Kick Butt's cards. And those are nice. Good to have the option there. You also get these translucent pink Energon cubes. They look good. There's a little flash point for where the mold separated, but overall looks nearly nice. And these can pose with the characters both in vehicle, or er, in bug mode and in robot mode. And then finally you get the guns. So they are painted, this one is painted silver. This is Claymore's gun. And they tab in just like any other masterpiece into the hand. Hypno, same thing. Here's his gun. This one is actually chromed. So that's nice. And that ends up being the front of the bug mode, which we'll take a look at later. And last but no, not least, we have Kick Butt. And here's his gun. And all of these guns actually end up transforming for the bug mode, so they all store away in bug mode. But they all look good and fit well. You also get these alternate faces. So this more skinny one is for Claymore and the wider one is for Kick Butt. So pretty easy to change out. You just lift up the head here and for the Claymore you just pull it off. It's just on a little tab there and then you replace it with the other one. And it, it is kind of an exact fit, so you gotta get it just right in there. There you go. 
There's the more alternate smiling face. And then it looks like I already have the alternate face here, but here's a kind of a smiling face on kick butt. Now this one you have to slide down. So instead of sliding it forward, you want to slide it down. It's a little tricky. Um, you kind of have to get it going. And I do find it to be tough. You can kind of pull on the chin. But it is a tight fit. But once you get it going, you can get it moving. Slide it down. Get the other face. And the one with the tab on the top is the one you want. And then slide that back in. Up into the head. And here's the standard face. Straight face. So I had the alternate already in there. Um, but there you go for their accessories. And for quick size comparison, there they are next to the Masterpiece Megatron. And they scale well. They're pretty much the same size as the other Masterpiece scale Insecticons we've gotten from Fans Toys and MMC. So they fit in well. Alright, so let's go over the articulation here. So his antenna here on a ball joint. So you can go forward and backwards down to here all the way up to there. The head can rotate up to here. It is hindered by the backpack here. But you can get it up to there, down to there, a uh, little bit of side to side because of the uh, ball joint there. These basically move all the way out of the way. I like the way they did that much better than the fans toys where they're all on one joint so you can move these separately. You don't have to move these at the same time. That's a smart way to design that. Rotation on the ball joint here for the shoulder. It gets up to there on the ball joint. Rotation at the bicep. Double joint elbow gets you the full bend. You have a wrist rotation here, single pin for the hand. You can articulate this gun here, which is the foot obviously in insect mode, but that looks nice there just as a, a little weapon. You have a waist rotation. You have an ab crunch. If you pull this out a little bit, which it does start, to, it's auto transforming feature, so you can see it kind of pushes the arms out. So you want to leave that in. So, but you can pull it out just a bit to get an ab crunch and it forward backwards and side to side. So that's a really nice feature there. Legs go up to there, back to there on ratchet joints, out to the side on a soft ratchet. Rotation at the thigh. Double jointed knee but uh, hindered by this back piece here. Ankle tilt all the way out to there and back the other direction. Tilts forward on that joint there and you can get a little bit of toe tilt as well if you want to get it upwards. So all the movement you would need on that toe. All right, now let's get Claymore transformed into his bug mode. Uh, pretty interesting transformation. Go ahead and come over here and open up this panel right here. And that's going to allow you to flip the leg open. We're going to do the same on the other side. Open up that panel and open up the leg. Rotate at the waist. And then we're going to pull down at the waist, and as you can see, these arms are going to go in as you do that. You can see it's kind of an automorphing feature there. It's kind of neat. So now you're going to go ahead and take the legs. They're going to fold inwards, and they're going to meet up here, basically, um, and just sit there. Fold this panel inwards. Fold the foot all the way back, and fold the toe, or the heel, back on top of the toe. And then that's going to sit right on top of here, like that. Same on the other side, go ahead and accordion this down. Make sure the knee ends up 90 degrees, like that. That panel already went in. Fold this down, and then fold this in. And these are going to peg together on the back here. There's two pegs. Oops. So you get it like that. Take these feet, and they're going to tuck in down here. come to the back here. These are going to slide backwards like that. All right, next we'll take care of this arm. So go ahead and lift up here. We're going to fold out the hand, rotate here, and then put the hand back in. And then we're going to take this tab here and that's going to go into the slot on the side of the leg. So get that pegged in. If you don't have the arm straight, you'll probably have a little trouble getting that pegged in. But it should just go in like that. 
take this part and that's going to just sit back like that. And I can take this leg and rotate that forward and then rotate that out. Same on the other side. Go ahead and open this up. Fold the hand in. If you don't have the, the hand straight, it might not go in. So make sure you have it straight. Get the tab into the slot on the leg and make sure you have the arm straight. Fold this backwards for the back leg. Next you can come to the front here, fold those up. Oh, we forgot this leg here. Position these. And there you have Claymore all transformed up into the bug mode. Pretty cool looking. You do have a little bit of articulation back here on this foot. Articulation on these antenna. Most people will probably close them up, but you can do however you like. And then you have a little bit of articulation here as well. Um, pretty good looking bug mode. So let's move on to the next bug here. All right, now let's take a look at Hypno. So Hypno had some pretty good articulation as well. The head goes up to there, down to there, and rotates around. It is a little bit hindered by these side shoulder pieces there. The gun on the head does articulate. It's I would be careful with that, but it does seem pretty robust. The shoulders rotate on these yellow joints here. You have an in and out butterfly joint here for the shoulder, and then it goes all the way up to there. You do have to move these bug legs with it, otherwise it gets out of whack, so you need to kind of push that down with the shoulder. You have a rotation at the bicep. You have a double jointed elbow. It's a little difficult to get it, and this sometimes pops out. It's a backpack. Just get it pegged back in there. Um, but you can get more than 90 degrees, so I'm going to give it to them. Rotation at the wrist. Single pin for the hand. You have this le bug leg here, which can act as a gun if you wanted to. You have a rotation at the waist, you also have an ab crunch and a side to side if you want it. The legs go up to here on a ratchet, back to there, all the way, and out to the side on a soft ratchet. Rotation at the thigh. Single jointed knee, oh, sorry it is a double jointed knee but you only get 90 degrees out of it. There's a joint here and here for transformation. You have an ankle tilt out to there. Sometimes that screw does get loose this, this direction. So you have to tighten that one. That one right there sometimes does get loose. But luckily there's a screw so you can tighten it. There's also screws for these feet. So if you have the feet articulated and it starts loosening up, you can also articulate the heel here. So let's get Hypno transformed into his bug mode. We will start back here. Go ahead and open up this backpack. It'll give you some space to work. Take this black piece, fold that in. You can see there's bug legs here. We'll just hang on for a second. We can fold these yellow pieces out and just leave like, like that for a minute. Open up this piece here. You can take the head and fold the gun piece to the back. This entire piece is going to fold outwards on the head's going to fold inwards. Make sure you have it totally square so that it lands right in there. And if you don't have it square, then it's not going to go in properly. So make sure you've got that right. Then you can take this piece and close that up and that's going to peg right back into the front here. Go ahead and take this piece and rotate that around so you end up with the black piece like that and then straighten this front piece out like that. All right, now we'll come to the back here. You can take this piece, that's going to sit right back down and just leave that there for now. You can see it's more flush than it was before, right? Before it was kind of sticking out. Come to the legs. The legs are going to come apart here and fold and tab into the side. Take the foot and accordion it outwards and it's going to tab into the side of the shin here. Take this purple piece out carefully and fold that outwards. Fold that little edge piece out. Then you take the entire leg and that's going to accordion inwards. Make sure you fold this piece in. It is on a spring, so if you want to close this, you have to push it inwards on that spring. And then you can close this up. And then make sure you have that all compressed in so that it meets up right here. And you should have that purple tab going into that slot right there. If you have it all done correctly. 
go ahead and take this piece that's going to fold down and it's going to tab it in the front here. Now this is where I was saying it's a little silly. I wish they had just left this painted gray because you're covering it with a purple piece anyway. What's the point of that? I can see the point of that for the other version where it was gray. But now that it's purple, I don't really get that. Um, just so you know, the cartoon version, they had purple in the bug mode and gray. And that's, so that's why they did that. But, uh, take this piece that's going to fold down and sit there and then take the bottom piece and that's also going to fold inwards and just cover down in there. All right, so it should have something like that when you're done. All right, same on this side, go ahead and open this up, tab that into the side, fold the foot and tab that into the side of the leg. Take this piece out carefully. Fold that out. Use the spring loaded feature here to get this folded downwards and also make sure you have that accordion down all the way. Make sure you get it pegged in here as well. You might have released the other one so you might have to work on both. They do peg together. Now we can make sure that's pegged in down here into the back there. Right, go ahead and take this purple piece Tab that in the front. Close this down. That's just going to tab in right there. Same on the bottom. Close this down. And it's going to sit right there. Next we'll take care of the arms. So go ahead and take this piece, fold that out, and that's going to kind of auto morph the hand into there. You can see there's two tabs here. This one is going to go into the bottom. This one's going into the side of the abdomen there. So get them both in kind of at the same time. And it should just fit right in and you can just leave this leg kind of facing backwards like that so same for this side go ahead and take this pull this out that's going to kind of automorph the hand inwards and then fit those two tabs in on the side and on the bottom Go ahead and give everything a nice squeeze there. Make sure you have everything pegged in. Straighten this up. And this part I don't love, but this is how it works. Go ahead and take this and slide that into here. It's not the best connection, but that's how it works. And then take these panels here and close those up. And it does sometimes come out. There's nothing really holding it there, and that's why I don't love the way this works, but that is how it works. Then go ahead and take this arm out of the shoulder here, and that's going to come down. Make the front foot. Take this one, same thing. And then go ahead and take... And there's a tab on the front of the arm too, so that has to go in as well. So make sure you get that one in also. There we go. And then last little foot here, you can take out of there, fold this down, and that's going to go to the side. See so on this one, fold this down, that's going to go to the side. And you can kind of angle these feet however you like. And there is Hypno in his bug mode. Pretty good looking. You do have a little articulation here, although sometimes it's irritating because you want it to stay straight. Um, sometimes this gun does come out but and it's also not like perfectly in there I don't know it's not a, not a great design for that front part but there you go it does look good at least with that chrome there are the eyes you do have that same detail that we had on the value pack with the blue and the red here here's the back so overall pretty good looking you do have articulation here on the toe and then here as well on the side you can go up and down and then the toe can also move and on the back you can go up and down here and then the toe can also move. So finally let's take a look at the articulation on kick butt here. So his head goes on a joint here all the way back mostly for transformation but you can do that and it rotates around pretty tight joint there. Um, and the reason being there is a panel inside there which we'll see during transformation. The ears do rotate. They are hard plastic, not a soft rubber like the fans toes. You get a rotation here at the wing, although it tends to look best kind of positioned like that, slightly upwards. 
You have a rotation on the ball jointed shoulder and it goes up to there. Rotation at the bicep, double jointed elbow gets you full bend. Rotation at the wrist, single pinned hands. You have a rotation at the waist and an ab crunch and a side to side. So you get all of that movement there. Legs go up to there on a ratchet, back to there on a ratchet, out to the side on a ratchet, all soft. Rotation at the thigh. Single judge and knee gets you 90 degrees. You have a toe tilt on this one, no ankle tilt, and the heel doesn't move. But it goes both directions, it goes up and it goes down. So you get all the movement, it's just only on the toe. All right, now let's get kick butt transformed into his bug mode. Um, so this is probably the, one of the more complicated ones, but not too bad overall. So let's start on the chest. So go ahead and take the wings and fold them. And pretty much every Masterpiece version transformed almost the same way, right? You pull those down in order to open up the gap to pull the back out. And fold out this piece here. And all the stuff is under here, right? So go ahead and take this panel that's going to cover the face. And just leave that there for now. We're going to take the arms. Those are going to rotate this way. And now that we have them that like go ahead and take the bug legs and they're going to fold out of the back here. And just leave them out like that for now. Take the arms and you can see there's a tab here. So the tab is going to meet up on the other arm. So that's how you know how to orient them. I sometimes get Dis misoriented or disoriented trying to do this. Actually, I just I just did so There we go. So you want it like that with this tab on the inside and with the slot on the inside as well So you can see there's two tabs and two slots are going to fit into each other So go ahead and get those No, nope, still got disoriented <laughs> Go ahead and get these oriented like this get them tabbed together And then take the hands and they're going to rotate inwards to the chest and basically sit together like this. You should have these relatively straight. If you don't, something's probably not quite right, but it should look something like that. And that whole thing is going to end up inside the chest. So get that folded inwards. Let me fix up these ears here. All right, now make sure you have that chest inwards. Come to the front here. And you want to get this yellow panel slid outwards. I would just be careful. I mean, it's, it does come out, but it's kind of tight. And maybe you want to use a spudger or something to, to push it through. So, I don't know. It, especially the first few times, it can be tight. But you do want to get that out and then rotate it up. Take this panel, fold that down, and then you can put this back in. Um, so just be careful. It's a translucent plastic. You don't want to break that. I'll go ahead and get this back in, and that's going to fold and go in there. There's two tabs down here, and they're going to tab into the bottom of his waist there. So get that pressed in. It's going to tab in. Take these, and these are going to tab into the side. The iron slider, so you have to slide it upwards and then tab it in. Same on this side. Slide it up on the slider, and then tab it into the side. These aren't the most secure things, so you might have to hold them. So I like to hold them by that. All right, now work on the back legs. We're nearing the home stretch here. Go ahead and take this. It's going to rotate down on this whole joint. So you want this entire joint to rotate downwards like that. All right, and you can see these pieces are popping out. All right, go ahead and fold the legs up. Come to the back here. There's two little securing tabs. You're going to pull those out. Then you can flip up the leg, fold that securing tab back down, and then collapse the leg down. Oh, and our tabs came out here. Put those back in. This is going to come down and tab into the top here. Just sit like that. Fold this foot down, and then fold the toe out. Little teeny tiny toe. Take this toe for the robot mode, rip that, rotate that around and then push it downwards and it will sit right in here like that. Same with this side. 
tie that in, come to the back here, remove the securing pin, we'll do this again. Flip this out, flip down the foot, push in the securing tab, collapse the leg, and then rotate out the toe. Little teeny tiny toe. Get these oriented upwards like this. And that's kind of how the back legs are going to sit. Come to these front legs. Actually, come to this head first since we had to fix that. That's all disoriented. Rotate the head around so the silver side is down. And then rotate the ears up. I, mean, I guess you don't have to, but that's how I like to do it. And for the final piece here, we're going to take the gun. And this has to transform a little bit as well. Go ahead and open up these panels here. Take the handle, that's going to fold inwards. And then take the top of the gun, fold that up. It's going to look like this. And you can see there's two little slots on the side. And that is so you can peg it in between here. It is a tight fit, but you can do it. Just goes like that. And there you have kick butt all transformed into its bug mode. Pretty cool looking, good looking bug mode. It's got some nice shiny wings. I do find these back legs sometimes don't sit perfectly. You kind of have to keep messing with them to get them in the exact position you want. Um, and it's really this. You can lock it in position, but it seems like it's too far back. So if you want them kind of not that far back, they just don't lock. But you do have articulation this way, up and down on the leg and a rotation. And you can move this up and down until it locks in this position, and then the toe itself can move as well. So plenty of movement, it just, I wish it would lock. That's my only complaint there. Coming to the front, you do have articulation on these bug ears here. The wings can go up and down, although I think it looks best put flush. These legs can go up and down and in and out. Some people prefer to put the legs a little bit out like this, so you get that kind of more, I don't know, aggressive look. But either way, looks good in bug mode. So there's the set of three good looking set of bugs. So for comparison, there they are next to the Fans Toys and Seconds and Cons, as well as the Transform Element TEO1B, the Nemesis Prime. So I've already done a versus between these two sets. I did it with the value pack. Now this set would probably get a few more points. Uh, but overall, it'd probably be the same score. Now, I ended up with a really close score in this versus, and I still think that as far as the what they do in each mode, it's pretty close. Bad, Bad Cube still does some really better things in terms of transformation, in terms of hiding the bug legs. Some of the engineering is really cool. Whereas Fans Toys just feels better overall in terms of the materials. It looks better. It's fully painted. Um, the bug modes are all a little bit more cohesive across the board. So final thoughts on the Bad Cube Collector's Edition of the Evil Bug Core. Let's start with the positives. I think they look good in both the robot modes and the bug modes. They really got close to the cartoon look, even though they were going for a bit of the toy look here with the translucent chest and with the yellow legs back here. It still nails the cartoon pretty well. I also like the accessories they included, the guns and the Energon cubes all work well and the extra faces work well as well. I also like the additional die cast pieces they put in the feet. It gives a little bit more weight down low as well as a little bit more paint and detail on the figures. Negatives wise, I think the sculpt of these figures is a little bit, uh, you know, it's going to be a preference. So on these, especially this one, it kind of stands out. He's got a very wide chest, uh, but all of them in general are just kind of bulbous and round. And that's kind of the sculpt they were going for. So if you like that, then you're going to like this set. If you prefer the more svelte and, you know, skinny look, you're going to prefer the Fans Toys or MMC. Overall, at $220, it's a good value for this set of three Masterpiece Insecticons. I do recommend this set. You can pick this up from Toy Dojo, my channel partner at the link in the description below. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time.